My story takes place in Singapore in the late 1800s, a rising colonial land golden with a facade of opportunities. The book follows the lives of two immigrants who are shipped from far away to Singapore against their will. The first protagonist arriving from Japan is a naive 16-year-old girl named Oseki, who comes to Singapore in anticipation of getting married, but she is instead forced into servitude as a karaoke, a Japanese prostitute. Compelled to grow up quickly, she soon grapples with the realization of betrayal by her own beloved father, and in time she transforms into a monster she can't recognize. The other character is Gobin, a deaf convict from India who is sentenced to serve in Singapore as a punkawala, a servant who manually pulls a fan for his master's comfort. Unfortunately, Gobin struggles to carry out his duties as he skips in and out of his butchered and sinful memories. They lurk in the darkness, out of sight, aching to pounce and compelling him to regress. Their paths cross with Gobin's master who is obsessed with killing Rimao Setan, a ferocious man-eating tiger in the Siranjung forest. As the story progresses, Oseki and Gobin's lives become dependent on each other in the tiger-infested forest. They must face their inner demons to not only find their way back to their homeland, but also their humanity. Loosely based on events in early Singapore history and myths of Asian folklore, the book presents a narration that follows two very unlikely heroes and how they might have struggled to fit in their new identities and question the possibility of whether we can change who we truly are. From my research and observations, our local literature is rich with stories of successful immigrants and British masters. My hope for this book is for a greater audience to get to know the lesser heard characters who were also there to shape this period of early Singapore history. The plight of unwitting karaoke's and the harsh lives the Indian convicts led while serving their sentences in a penal colony are important tales that have not been widely shared. I hope to celebrate them as part of our young but very diverse and wonderful history of Singapore. Thank you.